Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. All right, welcome back. Welcome to Intermediate Class 4. Welcome back. So I hope everything is running smoothly now. We've been going for a few days, and I have a special guest with me who was here a few classes ago, a couple classes ago, a couple, un par, un par de clases, two classes ago. Luca. Luca, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good. I'm great. Good, good. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I'm glad to be back. Good. Well, we are glad to have you. So, Luca is here, and we're going to look at class four. But as always, Luca, we're going to start with a little review okay. from the previous class, which is class three, right? So, in that class, we looked at the verb to break in the simple past, for example, right? So, today I break, yesterday I... Yesterday I broke. I broke. I broke. Did you, did you break a bone when you were young? Yes, I broke a bone when I was young. Really? What what bone did you break? Uh, el brazo. De... You broke your arm. Yeah. You broke your arm. Ask me if I broke my arm when I was young. Did you break your arm when you were young? When I was young. No, I didn't break my arm when I was young. In fact, I've never broken a bone. How Which, lucky. Yeah, maybe it's a miracle because I had a lot of accidents when I was a little boy. and um, But I never broke a bone. And my brother never broke a bone either. So it must be that you're, you have strong bones. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I drank a lot of milk. I drank a lot of milk when I was young. And maybe that helped me because I, 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 I have never broken. There's present perfect, which we'll see in another class. But I have never broken a bone in my life. So, it's important that we say broke, broke, broke. Okay, so this is a question of pronunciation. What? Pronunciation. That's right. This is a question of pronunciation. So, we have uh, broke. We don't say brock, but we say broke. Oh, oh, broke. It's like a long there's O. There's like a long, there's, yeah, it's like a very long O, exactly. Yes, un sonido de un O bastante alargado, right? Right. Broke. Can you say that again? Broke. Okay. So, what what else can you break besides physically breaking things? I, I, I can break this pen. Yesterday, I broke the pen. But we can also break records, right, Luca? Yes, to break a record, it means... Yeah, mm. romper un... You, you say that, right? Romper un, un, un record, do you say that? No, batir. you say... Batir un record. Yeah, yeah batir un it. record, that's what you say. But in English, we say to break a record. Yes. Okay, so do you remember some of the records that were broken at the Beijing Olympics? The Beijing the Olympics. The Beijing Olympics. Uh, the, 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 Juegos Olympics. Los Juegos Olympicos in Beijing. Michael Phelps. Do you remember him? No, I don't. <laughs> you don't remember Michael Phelps. He broke seven world records last wow. year at the Beijing Olympics in sw swimming. Swimming. So many people think he's probably the greatest swimmer ever. He broke the world record for the 200-meter butterfly stroke. The 200-meter medley, which is a mix. Medley, like a mix of, of styles. The 4 by 100 meter medley. He also broke the world record. He broke the world record in the 400-meter medley. So medley is mezcla, right? Okay. So he broke many, many world records. And then, do you remember? Do you know? Do you know who Usain Bolt is? No, I don't. Do you like? Do you like sports? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, well, I, I like some of them. I like uh, watching tennis, uh, but for example, swimming. No. Okay, but but Usain Bolt is a runner. He's okay. a sprinter. Okay. And he broke. He broke two world records at the Olympic Games, two of the most prestigious, most prestigious records 
which are the 100 meters sprinting, the 100 meter sprint, and the 200 meter. So he ran the 100 meters in 9.69 seconds. He broke wow. the world record very, very fast. Very, very fast. So he broke the world record, right? So Usain Bolt uh, broke the world record. Usain Bolt is his name. Do you know what? Do you know? Do you know what a bolt is? Was he un calvo, no? Someone oh, that no, has... no, but that's bald. Ah, Calvo that's is bald. bald. His his surname is Bolt, bolt. which we have, for example, a lightning bolt, relámpago, mm, okay. is a lightning bolt, bolt, a bolt of lightning. So it's it's funny. It's a strange coincidence that his name is Bolt. bolt. His, his name is relámpago, uh -huh. more or less, and he's a guy who runs very fast. So it's a very fitting, very good name. Ask me if he broke the record in 1990. Did he break the record in 1919? In 1990. In 1990? 1990, right. No, he didn't break the world record in 1990. Ask me if he broke the world record in 2000. Did he break the world record in, in 2000? No, he didn't. Ask me when he broke it. When did he break the world record? He broke the world record again. In 2009, he broke the world record in 2008 in Beijing, and then he broke his own record again in 2009 quite recently. Wow. So every year he's faster well, and faster. Well, he's faster and faster. So in, let me see here, in the Beijing Olympics, he ran the 100 meters in 9.69 seconds, but then he broke it again in 2009, ask me if he broke it in July. Did he break it in July? No, he didn't break it. He didn't break the record in July. At home, at home. Ask me if he broke the record in October. Did he break the record in October? Ask me again. No, he didn't. Good job, but no, he didn't break the record in October. Ask me, Luca, ask me when he broke the record. When did he break the record? R sorry? When did he break the record? The record. The record. Record. I need to hear record. that D at the end. Record. Record. Good, good. He broke the record in August. In August, yes. Ask me if he broke the record on the 5th of August. Did he break the record on the 5th of August? On the 5th of August. Good. No, he didn't break the record on the 5th of August. Ask me if he broke the record on the 10th of August. Did he break the record on the 10th of August? Good. No, he didn't break the record on the 10th of August. At when? home? <laughs> at home. First, at home. I'll let the suspense build here. This is a combination of all the things that we saw here in, uh, in class three. To break, and then we're talking about dates. So we say in June, in July, in a month, in a year, in 1990, in 1995, but on a specific day, okay? So he broke the record in 2009. He broke the record in August. Ask me at home, ask me if he broke the record on August 20th. Luca, now you, you, you ask me. Good did, job at home, but Luca, ask me. Did he break the record on the 10th of August? On the 10th of August? No. But, and the 20th? Ask me if he broke it on the 20th. Did he break it on the 20th? No, he didn't break it on the 20th. Ask me when he broke it. When did he break the record? The record, good. He broke the record on the 16th. On the 16th of August. Okay, so... So here we have, he broke the record in 2009, he broke it in August, he broke it on the 16th of August in Berlin. He broke the record in Berlin. He did not break the record in China, again. He did not break the record in Spain. He broke the record in Germany. He broke the, rep the record in Berlin, right? Very good. Let's move on. <laughs> Word of the day. 
All right. Did you hear that, Luca? Did you hear that sound? Yes, I did. Exactly. It's time for the word of the day. Are you ready? Yes, I am. The word of the day today is... How do you say in English? Chantaje. Uh, blackmail? Blackmail. Nice. It can, be, it can be a verb or a noun to blackmail someone. Or the noun, simply blackmail. Right? Okay. To bla- yeah, the, well, the, the noun, blackmail. So what is this? What is blackmail? Un chantaje? Yeah, but, in it, but explain it. What is it? Explain it. For example, if I uh, tell you, I'll come here if you give me money. <laughs> no, more or less. Well. Or I'll, I'll say something that is not true. Unless or, you do, unless you do, un, unless I do something, okay. or maybe there's something that is true, and you know, maybe you know my secret, and you say, Kyle, give me a million dollars, or else, or else, I am going to tell the media, I'm going to tell everyone what you did, I'm I... going to tell them your secret. I better have a good secret. Yeah, <laughs> if it's going to be worth it. I don't think I have any million-dollar secrets myself, but if I did, then, you know, you could blackmail me, right? Right. Blackmail. Correo negro, mm-hmm. you say, right? So say it again, blackmail. 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 Again, playing with that K, black. 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 Blackmail. Blackmail. All right, blackmail. Very good. All right, let's move on. Practicing a few questions now, a few questions uh, with yes, I did, no, I didn't. Yes, I did, no, I didn't. Did you live in Spain last year? Yes, I did. Okay. Did you wear that shirt yesterday? No, I didn't. Did you know me before you came here today? Mm, yes, I did. Did you? Okay. Can you can you give me a long answer? Yes, I. And now a long answer. Uh, yes. yes, I knew you before I came here. Okay. Good. Yes, I knew you before I came here today. And the short answer, using the auxiliary verb, yes, I did. Yes, I did. So, yeah, we're going to practice with yes, I did, no, I didn't. But the did, that's what we use in the short answer, the auxiliary verb. Did you speak German when you were young? No, I didn't. No, no, I didn't. At home, did you speak German when you were young? No, no, you didn't. I didn't either. Pronunciation. What? Okay, you heard that sound. That's right. That is time for a little pronunciation. We have a little pronunciation trick here. I must insist on a strong D. Right? Right, 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 right Luca? Yeah. A strong D didn't. Didn't. Did it. Didn't. But you are saying did not together, no? Yeah, did not contracted together. Didn't. Didn't. I did, but he didn't. Again? I did, but he didn't. Good. At home? I did, but he didn't. Conmigo? I did, but he didn't. Very good. Didn't. Didn't. So you have to pronounce that that D. And remember, with the D, your tongue stays inside your mouth and touches the roof of your mouth. It doesn't come out like a TH sound. Did. This is why people like me, Giris, (laughs) always say... I live in Madrid. Yeah. We say Madrid. And you say Madrid. Yeah. Right? We say I say Madrid with a hard D because in English a D a D is a D for us. At the start of a word or at the end of the word, it's still the same D. My tongue inside my mouth, touching the roof of my mouth, did. Whereas in Spanish, when a D comes at the end of a word, you tend to pronounce it, you normally pronounce it like a soft TH or a T sound, depending on what part of Spain you're from, right? Yeah. Yes. But most Spanish people do not say Madrid. No. Only the Giris do that, right? Yeah. This is why we say, I decided. Or even in Spanish, when I speak Spanish, I say, decidido. Decidi- or, well, actually, that's what a Spanish person say. I would say, decidido. Very yeah. typical giri, right? Decidido. Yes. The reason is because I'm treating the first D the same as the last D. Decidido. For me, for an English speaker, a D is a D. 
Okay. It's always pronounced so the same. So it's always inside your mouth. Always with always inside my tongue inside touching the roof of my mouth and it's always the same sound. So a good way to practice this is to take your pen. So I'm taking my pen. I can, I can put my pen inside my mouth holding it between my teeth. And I should be able to say the word decided without my tongue touching the pen. Okay? I'm actually doing this on the radio. Luca, am I do- am I am I am I doing it, Luca? Yes, he's. Okay. he's. I'm going to try late. <laughs> he decided. Now, my tongue did not touch. So so try that. My tongue did not touch the pen. If you're if you say it Spanish style, your tongue comes out and your tongue touches the pen. Right? Try it, Luca. Decided. Ah, but you see your tongue's coming out too far. Yeah. Your tongue stays in the back. Well, your, your tongue stays back a little bit and mm-hmm. touches the roof, the top of your mouth. It does not touch the pen. Okay. I'll try again. Decided. Decided. Okay. Better. Very good. Very good. Let's move on. Um, did you see me last week? Yes, I did. Yes, yes, you did. Uh, did you live in Canada when you were 10 years old? No, I didn't. Okay. Did Barack Obama win the last election in the U.S.? Yes, he did. Did the Beatles make a lot of money when they were together? Yes, they did. Good. Did Muhammad Ali know how to box? How to box? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay, yes, he did. Even even someone who isn't a sports fan knows Muhammad Ali, right? Yes. Okay, so out loud, did I teach English last year? Yes, you did. At home, siempre en voz alta en casa. Did I teach English 30 years ago, Luca? No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Did Spain win the last World Cup? No, he didn't. He? Ah, no. Uh, No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Did John F. Kennedy know how to speak well? Yes, he did. (laughs) Yes, he did. (laughs) Certainly, certainly. Very good. Vocabulary of the day. All right, it's time for the vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day. Are you ready? Yes, I am. How do you say guardaria? Um, gardening center or something Gu- like that. Whoa, for, no. for, for, for kids, right? For kids. Daycare center. Okay. Daycare. Daycare center. Again? Daycare center. Okay, and at home? Daycare center. Very good. Incompetente? In, incompetent? Incompetent. 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 Nice. nice. Two hard T's there. Incompetent. Incompetent. Very good. ¿Puedo hablar con...? How do you say that? May I speak to... May I speak to John, please? Yes. I call the office and I say, May I speak to Susan? May I speak to... At home, repeat that with me. May I speak to Kyle? May I speak to Kyle? Sure, no problem. Publicidad? Mm, Publicity? Yeah, or or we could say... Advertising. Advertising. So advertising can be in the media, in in the newspaper, on television. On television and on radio, we have commercials... Commercials. Commercials, which is a type of advertising, mm-hmm. right? Commercials. And we have advertisements in print. We call that print advertising, which is a type of advertising. But commercials are just for radio and television. Okay. Otherwise, we have ads, advertisements that we use in print or on the internet. Advertisements. Advertisements. Mm. And the phenomenon is known as advertising. Advertising. Mm-hmm. Aunque. Although. 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 Very good. Very good. Although I'd like to continue, we have to stop because we're completely out of time. Thank you so much, Luca. Thanks to you. And thanks to you for listening at home. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.